We are joined now by Dick Collins from Collins Academy. He's going to give us a little bit of history on Union Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much, Jackie. It's great to have you, you all here in uh, East Texas. Tell us a little bit about the background of this church. Uh, the church was founded, the land was given to slaves in 1842, and a church was building, built in 1847. It's called the African Church. That church burned during Reconstruction, and this building itself was built in 1883 and operated as a church really until about 2005. At that point, most of the congregation had moved elsewhere in the country, and so we uh, were working with Pensy Floyd and the Floyd Jackson family to try to restore the church, and then Pensy died, and uh, so the Jackson family uh, and the Floyd Jackson family gave the church to the Today Foundation, which operates Collins Academy, and so we started the restoration project here, and it took three years, and we did it with our team here from uh, Jefferson in East Texas. And Dick, no different than many historical sites, you guys were painstaking in trying to save as many historical artifacts as possible, and you've done a great job of that here. Well, thank you so much. We did an archaeological dig around the church to see if there was any original glass. We found a lot of original glass, but no colored glass, surprisingly. We thought there might have been some stained glass of some kind. But we found old, old nails, and we found the remains of the original African church that was burned in 1868. So we tried to, inside the church itself, had been covered with plastic over the years and that saved a lot of the interior. And so most of the interior here in the church is original from 1883. Most of the exterior is not. And only in the front can you see the original wood and that wood has deteriorated pretty badly. Now you get that true sense when you do come inside the building. That's true. As soon as you walk in, you feel like you're stepping back in time. So tell us what you want people to experience when they get here. Well, you want to have an experience, uh, a spiritual experience of the importance of the history of this church and this building and what, what it meant to East Texas and Louisiana and what the founders of this church wanted it to be. This one, this is a spiritual, um, the spiritual headquarters for a lot of the African American community and, and white people in this area. And so we want that church to continue as a living history museum. So we, we've used it for plays, we used it for concerts, we're gonna use it for spiritual purposes, for uh, selected, uh, 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 selected times when a, a preacher wants to use it. And so we're gonna continue to operate as it was in the beginning, as the original founders wanted it to be. And no area in this church it reflects that more maybe than the baptismal area here, still authentic. The baptismal was an in, in an inconvenient location, yeah. so we, but we had to save it because it's an, uh, such an important part of the history of the church. So the baptismal probably dates back to 1940 when it was built, and so we we uh, were able to save it and uh, and restore it. And so uh, my grandchildren were there; they were ready to go swimming in it. And so we're not going to use it for that. For that, we haven't had any offers for a baptismal yet, and uh, we probably won't probably do it if they come to me it's okay with me some of the people down here may not want to have to clean out the water and all that kind of stuff the maintenance so we'll do the best we can well you have done a wonderful job and thank you very much for sharing the history with us thank you so much for being here and we'll be right back <laughs> 